the magnet fishing tree of life. What's up, pirate fam? So, I think today we're gonna go magnet fishing back at that bridge that I was repelling with the magnet from. Uh, so if you guys wanna check out that video, I'll leave a little annotation for you. But I think we're gonna go back there and we're gonna try to fish underneath the, uh, the railroad bridge that I couldn't quite reach. So we're gonna try to take the kayak and go all the way up the river to that spot. And maybe if we find some good spots along the way, we might try that out too. Cause you know, in the kayak, man, you can go anywhere. The river is open, open season when you got the kayak. So uh, I'm gonna get the kayak off the roof and get in the river and we're gonna get to it. Well guys, uh, we were gonna try to go up there, but I swear, like right before I put my kayak in, uh, the current was not even as strong. And as soon as I went to put it in, like it doubled it on the surface, what it looked like, how fast it was going. So I have my anchor in, which is definitely dug into something. So that's a little scary. I don't know if I'm gonna get that out because I'm about to paddle way down and try to pull it up. But for the moment, it's holding me steady. So I guess we're just gonna try to fish right here back at the, uh, the uh, bridge I fished at last week. Um, I don't think I said it really too much in the video last week. I really think the pieces I was pulling up are pieces of bridge, but I'm thinking, sorry, I'm thinking that it's more pieces of the old bridge because they demoed it, they, they blew it up. So it's very possible that pieces could have been thrown down this way and look at the river, the current's so ridiculous right now. I mean, it definitely could have dragged those pieces down this way. So I'm thinking it's the old bridge back here for my magnet. Try to, I don't know what is happening with my rope. Oh my, I had this all nice and neat before I got in the kayak. So I think we finally got that sorted out. So we're gonna send the brute down. Forgot to bring my gloves again. This feels heavy. This feels heavy. This feels heavy. Oh Lord. I think we got something. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. What in the world? Okay. It's uh, like a big piece of braided cable. But when I pulled it up, it looked like a tree. The magnet fishing tree of life. Or, you know what? I think this is actually part, this is part of a, a river wizard wand. You look at the top of it, it looks like Gandalf's uh, staff thing. I mean wand, I meant staff. It looks like the top of like Gandalf's staff. I can't talk. You know what, Lord of the Rings, holla. I feel like I got something else heavy again. This spot right here, I swear, this is the spot. Oh my word. So this looks like it was probably part of a weight. It has a chain on it. So this was probably somebody's like kayak weight or some kind of a weight. That's pretty cool. I'm sad this water's still pretty cold. Like it's hot today. It was hot yesterday. It's supposed to be about 90 today. And uh, I don't know, I'm ready to hop in the river looking for treasure, which I mean I couldn't do today, but you know, I can dream. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's all kind of bits of wire right below me. It's crazy. Oh. Oh, we we're on something here, guys. I felt it snap. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Look at this thing. Big old piece of metal. <sighs> Telling you, parts of bridges for days. Oh, we 
got a little stick of metal. Some more sticks of metal. Piece of chain. I don't know. I thought that was a blade for a knife and I got real excited. Magnetic rocks and gobbledygook. Hello. Oh, we got a railroad spike. Didn't expect to find that here. I mean, we are across from a railroad, but just right here in the middle of the river, it's so random. All right, so I feel like it's maybe impossible mission time. Try to get right above where my anchor is. Bless up, but I got all kind of water in my yak. It's all on my butt right now. Lost a freaking anchor that I just used today. Oh, guys. Okay, I moved over here. Next to this thing. Whoa. <laughs> I got a hold of a log keeping me still. Just to see, I don't know, if anything fell off a barge or something right here, maybe. Give it a couple tosses. Actually, there's, there's a plastic lawn chair over there. That's crazy. But let's give her a toss. Okay. Yeah, I really don't think we're gonna find anything here. Let's go explore this chair. Pretty shallow over here. But yeah, maybe there's a chair over there. I don't know where that came from. Oh, that's like a metal pipe or something. Oh, that's like metal pipe. And there's a piece there too. No doubt something for the barge. Let me hop out. Because I just found something. And uh, I want y'all to see the stuff you need to be looking out for. Anytime you're going out anywhere anymore, definitely around me. Oh, my back. Anyway, check this out. What do we got right there? We got a needle. So I'm not even going to touch that. I don't want none of that, but yeah, all my adventure peeps. Oh my God, also look out for the rocks. Uh, <laughs> make sure you're on the lookout for stuff like that. Here's a lure. Uh, Cause man, you step on that, you touch that. Man, that's some life changing stuff right there. So man, watch out for them needles and stuff. Yeah, so we didn't find too much today. Uh, uh, like three pretty decent pieces that might be my favorite I think my favorite is between this weight and this Gandalf looking staff piece of braided cable but then we did find this real thick big chunk of metal right there and a, a railroad spike which is pretty cool because I mean we're close to the railroad but it's not like this bridge is attached to the railroad or anything that's just cars so for it to be on this side of the river uh, a random place to find it kind of so uh yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go get dried up i got some stuff in the mail that i want to show to you guys so uh i'm gonna go do that show you what i got for that and uh put that in the video make it <laughs> at least uh a little bit closer to normal length i'm sure it's gonna be pretty short but uh yeah let's go put the kayak up go get the mail and uh show you what i got
All right, pirate fam. So before I get the other mail items, pick them up, I'm gonna film something I already got in the mail because uh, because the timing of my life, I got stuff to do tonight and a very short window to do it. So I can film the other stuff kind of whenever, but I want to get this out of the way because I've been saving this for today. So I wanted to do a sticker swap with Cook Z. So, you know, he mailed out his sticker, I mailed out my sticker. He sent me a tracking number for it. <laughs> I was like, bro, that's a lot, man. <laughs> you know, do all that, it's just a sticker. But what I didn't know was he was sending me secret stuff. So the package came, I was at work. My wife accidentally opened it and she was like, oh, it's not my box, it's for you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And I thought that's what it was, but I was like, that's a weird, weird package. So I get home, it's an Amazon, Amazon Prime box. And I was like, well, I didn't order anything from Amazon. So I open it and then I see this face down and I turn it around. <laughs> he sent me an MRE. Oh man. So uh, in case anybody doesn't know, MRE is meal ready to eat. This is what they use in the armed forces. Maybe this one has, some of them have like self-heating pouches and it will heat the meal too. It's a chemical reaction. And uh, yeah, it's, so they pack up pretty small for what it is and you know, uh, you just take this with you and then when they need to eat, they just break one of these bad boys open and eat it. So I've never actually had one. So this is my first MRE. So this should be interesting. So thank you for the MRE. And like I said, I've been saving it for now. Let's go ahead and, um, figure out how to open this. It says peel. I grabbed the knife. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, but it says to peel, so we're going to do that. So let's see what we got in here. More, um, more stuff. So I'm guessing we peel open. He's probably watching me like, hey, <laughs> you're so stupid, don't know how to open it. <laughs> just, I'm going to cut it. I think it's just a protective waterproof. So let's see what we got in here. Ooh, okay. So they give you all kind of stuff in here. They give you like a little bit of condiments and stuff. I think this is the heating pouch. Um, this is beef stew, by the way. So this is the beef stew. You get a fork. This is actually like a stout fork. This is one of the better plastic forks I've ever felt in my life. We got some apple jelly here. Um, Pepper sauce, so hot sauce, I guess, pretty much. What is this? Chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. Um, might save this for another time because it's, I don't know if I want to drink chocolate stuff right now. Put that to the side. What else we got in here? Bread. It smells very interesting, too. <laughs> it kind of smells like peanuts. Ooh, something is greasy in here. No, peanut butter. So that's probably why I smell peanuts, huh? Uh, nut raisin mix. Oh, yeah, something like kind of leaked in here. Um, yeah, there should be like a moist towelette in here. And, ooh, beverage-based lemonade. Interesting. Interesting, there's salt and stuff in here. Pretzel sticks, all right. Okay, I think this is the sleeve that you put the heating thing into as to not burn your hands. I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna figure this out. So, here we go. <laughs> Let me get a towel, there's something all over this. Okay, let's... It smells very peanut buttery. I like dry peanut butter. Like peanut, like the powder in the bottom of a peanut, um, like a dry peanut container. Okay, so remove MRE pouch and paper sleeve from MRE. Cool. Tear off top of bag. This bag, I guess. Um, place MRE bag. 
pouch in bag with heater. So you put water just below this line, put this thing into that cardboard. <laughs> it says to lean it up against a rock or something. <laughs> it literally says rock or something. This is amazing. This is amazing. The actual beef stewy part. Bro, get in there. Okay. So we got that in there. Cool, 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 cool. I started drinking one of these, so I'm just gonna. I thought we need more water. So here we go. Here we go, yo. So we're gonna put that in there. Oh shit. It is leaking out somehow. Oh no! You just pour some more to like activate it maybe. Lord, that's hot. They didn't play with that chemical reaction. That's crazy. It's really hot. Like I'm actually pretty impressed with this like heating part. Like this is cool. I love it science stuff you know what science hold on all right i'm gonna put a thermometer under here and see how hot this actually is so easily like 160 degrees at any given time maybe more because it's been sitting here for a minute all right all right oh, oh god oh god oh god it slid out now let me wipe this off here all right so this is uh this is warm pretty hot in some places so you just kind of squeeze it up make sure it's all consistent okay it doesn't smell bad it smells pretty legit actually let me get it. it uh i don't know if it looks legit <laughs> but man i'm impressed this is a nice a little spoon in there. Okay. Um. Hmm. So here we go. First MRE ever. Legit MRE too. So there's you know gravy and potatoes and carrots and stuff in here. Pretty much like Dinty Moore. If anybody's eating that, that's what it smelled like. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I'm also really hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. So this is like bomb right now. Would I rather eat Dinty more over this? Yeah. But this is easily like not bad. I just Get some bread. Somewhere in the middle. It's not spectacular. It's not terrible. Okay, I'm uh I'm gonna go pick up the rest of the uh the mail to show you real quick so we can end this video. But uh yeah, I'll probably try some of this other stuff here at some point just on my own, like the the, the nut raisin mix and stuff. But I wanted to try the bread and the Definitely, the beef stew is like the center point. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's my first time already. So, thank you for sending that to me, bro. That was cool. Um, this is like a legit M. This isn't one you buy from the store. This is like legit U.S. military <laughs> grade stuff right here. So, this is pretty cool. So, yeah, this is much better than uh, sardines and mustard. I'm looking at you, ladies. You know who you are. All right, guys. So I got one of two packages so far. The other one still says Alpha Delivery, so that's depressing because I was pretty excited about that one. So, you know, I'll show you that maybe here in a minute. 
and I have to come to Lowe's and get some stuff for my house. So maybe by the time that's done, the mail won't have arrived. <laughs> if not, whatever, I'll work it in sometime. But I did get my buttons. So yeah, look at these. Oh, I dropped it. I have to get it. Hold on. <laughs> look at these. Look how cute these are. These are so tiny, but these are perfect to put in the geocaches. They're so small. And man, these are awesome. They turned out really good, I think. So I'm super excited about that. So next time I go, you know, geocaching, I can just put a bunch of those in there and stuff. So I got some other stickers coming too that are kind of like that, but they're like the digital glitch. So, so yeah, um, maybe right after this, we'll see if uh, my other package arrives for my Switch Pod, which I'm so excited about. But it came. So check it out, guys. The Switch Pod. So. This, I've been looking forward to for a long time because uh, I think it's going to be a lot better than the Gorilla Pod, which is what I think most people who do YouTube stuff have. So basically, the Gorilla Pod is great. It can be a tripod. You can wrap it around stuff and you can hold it. But the problem is, like, I don't know, it's kind of bulky you can find a comfortable grip to hold it and you'll keep that position for a while and then like you'll go to wrap it around something or just use it as a tripod and you'll never get it back to that awesome position ever again um yeah so it's just kind of and half the time the little legs want to pop out of their sockets it's just a bulky and annoying and this is much more streamlined so you can see it goes up here and it has like this handle, it has finger grooves all the way around it, so I can hold it out. But then, you know, with like a flick, it flips out, and this becomes a tripod. You can just sit this down, like you can do it on the fly. You can be holding it, talking it, and then just sit it down. And people will be like, what kind of magic is that? <laughs> so I think this is gonna be a lot better, just for me, just to make my life easier. It's a lot thinner a lot easier to pack it's just I think it's gonna be awesome so <laughs> I don't really know if you guys will notice too much of a difference but this is what I got and uh, yeah so I'm excited we got buttons we got a switch pod Did a little bit of magnification today didn't find too much but uh, it was a good day uh, it's sunny it's hot I'm burning up but that just means the water will be warm soon and I can go find river treasure so yeah so thanks for hanging out with me guys and uh, remember uh, go out there and make your own adventures Life short. Have fun. Peace, y'all.